Bard, Barian. And it looks like it's fitting the screen. And the volume actually isn't too loud on this game, which is good because I don't think it has a volume slider. It just has like on or off. So anyway. Okay. So I got Where'd my music go? Run away. Is that just all it's gonna play for right now? Okay. Let me uh let me try something. I can't see my chat window. See how big the meat is. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna go with medium window. Sure that didn't screw up. Nope, looks still good on OBS. Alright. So. Let us begin. I don't know how to play this game at all, so. It's gonna be a learning experience. Brad, our hero and local barbarian for hire, sleeps soundly. No Espanol, por favor. No hablo muy bien. However, evil cares not for his sleep patterns. Oh, dude, that dude totally got hacked. Yet again, Brad is called upon to protect the town's prized decorative crystal. Okay, I'm gonna click this link real quick just so I have it open. For future reference. Alright. Back in the game here. Any normal day Brad would care, but today... He doesn't. <laughs> Classy. Tired of grinding XP, saving useless NPCs, and living only to destroy... Greetings, Meatbag. I'm Tutorial Goblin, and I'm here to teach you the basics. Pay attention so you don't embarrass yourself. The first step is taking your first steps. Walking may seem difficult, but I'm sure you can make it. Using the arrows, WSD, or controller. I use, uh, urge you to use controller to get the finest barbaric appearance. But did you know that Battle Block Theater is best played with controller? So I can either use the control stick or the pad. It's cool. Oh, oh, it doesn't just give it to me. I gotta go pick it up like a peasant. My nice. savage. You're a natural. <laughs> Walking seems to be something you're capable of. Incredible. Notes are generated automatically as you play axe loot. Standing still will cause you to jam and generate notes faster. Use your notes to summon units to fight for you. You can have up to three units for now. Units are mapped to JKL. Uh, press J to summon an archer now. Trigger or X on the controller. Trigger plus X on the controller. Okay, there we go. I gotta hit. It says left trigger, but I'm hitting right trigger and it works, so. Alright. Alright, so it's... This is like my perfect style of gameplay because I love kiting. This guy is tough. Let's use a power solo to give you a damage boost. You have three types of power solos. Defense, speed, and attack. These solos can make or break your survival. Use them wisely to give yourself an edge in battle. Use so uh, power solos are mapped to the keyboard. UIO. Click the buttons or press U to perform an attack solo and watch your for the god. Okay, so that's just X without the without the trigger. Okay. So buttons without the trigger are solos, and buttons with the trigger are summon units. Alright. Ice. Only enemies fill this combo meter. After five kills, you can tap it to perform a stun solo. 
Don't get uh, hit though, or your meter will be reset. The stun solo will knock back your enemies, stun them, and destroy all the projectiles. It may just save your life. This game is kind of cool. Like, just like, the soundtrack is good, and um... It's simple enough that like I can play this and talk at the same time, but I'm sure it's going to get harder and I'm going to suck. But also, just, it's kind of fun. Um, use what you've learned to defend the crystal and make it through the day. Good. So I got enough for, uh, to summon. Um... Stand still. Okay, so I make notes faster. Oh my goodness, Artie! <laughs> Artie, you're right. Alright, time out. Time out. This is really cool because I get to make uh, a nice reference. Um, so my name's Dave. And there used to be a show on that I actually kind of like to watch. It was called Dave the Barbarian. So I'm going to title the stream Dave the Bard. <laughs> I'm so clever. Alright, so let's go. Um, what is this guy? Okay, so he's a fighter, so he stands in front of me. If I stand still, though, I make notes faster. Wait. Wait. Oh, there's dudes to kill. <laughs> I'm just jamming over here, I didn't even know there was guys on the screen yet. Alright, oh jeez. Get him! Get him! Let's get a mage in here. I assume since he costs the most, that he's the best. Oh yeah, get wrecked! Oh cool, they drop notes, so I can, uh, I'm gonna use a defense buff. Alright, so that guy throws, like, Hadoukens. Whoa! Alright. Alright, so this is pretty cool so far. So can I, um... Can I summon multiples? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I can only have one of each. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be asking people who have played this game to like kind of help me out. Um, I see that I can't summon multiples, but like, can I stack multiple of the same buff? So can I just like do like a hundred attack buffs? And just wreck face. Okay, so there's a unit cap I can upgrade. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, okay, so there's a unit cap, so I can summon multiples of the same unit. But only up to three. Okay, I gotcha. Ow. These dudes need to be better at protecting me from getting hit. Oh, dude, you're absolutely right. Stun attack. Boom. Get him. Get him. It's kind of hard to, like, avoid the projectiles with all your people. Alright. Alright. I'm digging it. Is there any way to get health back? Or like spend this gold that I'm getting, or is it just like... Oh, so do the spells like wear off over time? Is that how it works?
I just got a trading card for this game. It's cool, but don't don't distract me. I gotta focus. If you paying attention to your trading cards. Okay. Makes sense. Get him, fighter. Get him! Get him! Getting wrecked right now. I like the attack buff, obviously. Always kind of a. Uh... Yeah, I think I got this in a bundle. The shop drops bacon? Give me bacon, shop. Yeah, what if I come out here? It seems like a smarter idea to kind of meet them earlier, so I'm not getting people stacked up on my, uh... on my turf. Oh, my fighter's dead. He's so dead. I'm dead! Dead guys. Buy upgrades. Alright, so I can get Octo Dead. So I don't need the mage. Okay, so that's good to know. Probably gonna load up on f fighters, maybe. He gets more health, more attack. Upgrade this guy as well. Tal, if you shut up. I'm doing the best I can, man. What did this say? He's got, still got short range. This guy's medium range. Slow moving explosive projectiles, great for taking out big groups. Severe phobia of crowds. <clears throat> Huge triple haymaker that interrupts enemies. So this sounds really good right now. Maybe I do want to go triple brawler. Oh yeah, I just wasted all my money and I should have been spending it on this. Well, let's get some more health. Because I'm going to be real bad at first. So, what is this? This is just lower cooldown. Physical follower spawn at higher levels at max level. Get a defender on the top. I don't know what that means. Magical follower spawn at higher levels. Oh, physical followers, like people that use physical attacks. I get it. Get some of the town shops to stay open and help you win. Like, I don't understand the shops. Like, I don't ever see them open, but. Maybe I'm just dumb. Okay. I see. I see what you're saying. So this makes them cluster closer together so they're not as spread out. That will be really helpful. Alright. So that'll be kind of my next uh, thing. I didn't realize there was... Um, I didn't realize there was a hero in town. Because stupid. Oh, you have to buy it before it opens. Well, if you're gonna get all technical about it. <clears throat> so choose my party. Alright, all right, I'm getting the hang of it. Okay. Fighter up in here. Come up here, and I'm just gonna stand still to get my dude to jam. Oh, I can't stand still. It's a stupid idea. Look at two fighters. Maybe a. Or maybe I'll see three fighters. Who knows?
You'd seem to be wrecking face pretty good though. Let's get another one. I did just spend a bunch of money upgrading them, so they are probably going to be like the, um, the best. Yeah, look at this. Look at this phalanx I got going on. Oh. Get wrecked. So the range is like kind of short though, so I can't, um, I gotta get close to these big guys, or else I can't hit them. Oh, yeah. I wish I could see more of the screen, but I have a feeling that enlarging the window would just like make everything slightly bigger, but I wouldn't actually be able to see more of the screen. All right, I'm enjoy. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Pretty good. Why didn't I play this sooner? I have a couple of these games like this that are like uh, mobile games that were ported over to see. I thought maybe if I pause, I could get to the shop or something. Not. Where's my cursor? Look at like a savage. I kind of want to let them get out a little bit so that I don't have to go so uh, close to the spawner to pick up the gold and stuff. Ugh. Get them. Get them. He's down there. Oh, I just let some gold go. I saw that too late. Like, I'm seeing the word... It looks like it says level up. Are these guys leveling up? Yeah. That's cool. Love level ups. Heads up. <laughs> it's an old Family Guy joke for those that didn't recognize it. Say I love something, and then you say heads up, and then you throw it at somebody. So, do you only get to go to the upgrade screen like after you die, or is it like every so many levels you get to take a trip to upgrade land? Wait. Letting them have it. I don't even need this stun attack. Why did they even give this to me? I'm too good. I wish there was a song you could play to make them regain some health. Get out. Get out. I know I'm letting a lot of gold go here, I'm just trying to not get people killed, because I, I assume like if they die, like the next people that come in will be level 1. I don't know what level these guys are right now, but I assume it's like not level 1. Okay, so you only get to go to the shop when you die, alright. Eh. That's fine, I guess. New unit unlocked. Oh, she's just gonna like come chill with me right now. Whoa! This dude's trying to shrek me. Trying to shriggity shrek me. What's she doing? Her health's like going down slowly. 
she's dead. She's she's so dead. Oh man, I'm gonna be so dead. Yeah, I know I got the stuns. I, I kind of forget about it. I'm gonna use it right here just because I want to kill these guys. They're getting close. I thought there would be at least one big one with them. Get him! Alright, I didn't want to let this go. I didn't know if the chest would disappear. Alright, I got an achievement. Early bird. Oh, okay, so she, like, sacrifices herself to kill the party. It's just, like, a nice thing to do. But I would prefer you just, like, not do that. Just, like, you know, not kill yourself. Just cast a spell, maybe. Oh, he dead. Oh, I hit the wrong button, too. I just summoned an archer instead. Ah, whatever. Like, one of these guys is about to die, too. I just walked into the projectile. Smart move. I keep kind of freaking out because I don't like. You can like safely stand like on top of these people and not get hurt. Like I think if my guys touch them, like they're gonna get hurt. They're fine. Stop it. Crystal's gonna die. Crystal's gonna die. Oh, uh, I thought about playing one true parry. <laughs> I thought about using my stun attack to like get rid of that um projectile, but I'm like, no, it'll be okay. I'll survive. Guess what? I didn't. All right. Heals teammates over time when I... Alright. Alright, so yeah, I want to upgrade my hero. His body spray. Couple levels. Let's look at the town. Let's look at... Should look at these. Note generation. Starts with more notes, kicks more scrotes. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna buy it just because of the funny thing. Party on increased mech party size. Okay, that's good. I, I want to buy that, but that's expensive, so I want to make sure. Increases the damage output of your followers is good. Ooh, yeah, I see what you're talking about, Jenna. It's expensive, but that that's probably worth it if I can save up for it. So let's look at the town. Physical followers spawn at higher levels. At max level. The defender on top of the roof. Magic. Okay. Pay some of the town shops to stay open and help you win the fight. Okay. But I assume this is what I needed. Oh, that sucks already. I hate when games stop working. I've had a couple games like that where um, they work fine and then like an Android update comes out or something like that. Um, and then the game just doesn't work anymore. That happened to the Steam app for a long time. Like the Steam app didn't work on my phone for like a period of like two weeks. Kind of a bummer. Um, okay, what are these? Down pet. The little guy follows you around picking up gold so you don't have to... Eh. Let me go ahead and do this. Because that seems worth it to me. Didn't see what. Okay, anyway. Can I get anything else?
I'm not gonna bother updating these guys cause anymore because I don't think I'm gonna use them. The Black Mage and the Archer. Let's just save our money and. Uh, Well, what does the town drunk do? You do. Good. His bile slows enemy and can even- oh. Uh. Yeah, I'll get him. I didn't think I could still afford it. So I'm gonna start at the beginning just to uh, grind some money, I think. And I'm gonna place the wizard, the healer, and I'll probably run like two heal- or two brawlers and a Although no, I upgraded my um, I already forgot what I bought. Did I upgrade my party size? And I quit to the main menu. That's one thing I'm having a little trouble with this game is menu navigation. Play. Party. Hit play, okay. I must have accidentally tabbed over and hit the back button. So that dude is uh, straight up adorable. Okay, I was gonna say, like, did the music get really quiet or something? I don't even hear it anymore. But there it goes. Alright, let's get this set up. And then, um... <laughs> There's a... <laughs> That's funny. I want to watch him. <laughs> Classic. Alright, go get the stuff, man. Oh, he's not going to pick up notes, he only picks up gold. Yeah, go get it. Okay. I didn't know, like, how far he would go to get it. But it looks, like, pretty far. Ow, my healer got hurt. Somebody heal my healer. I saw a ghost of a pig at the bacon shop. Oh nice, yeah, gave me some bacon. Ripped pig, you, you died so that may I may live. So I don't know if the raccoon counts as like a fourth party member or if I just didn't buy the party upgrade like I thought I did. But I totally thought I bought that. And I'm only able to summon three. Oh, this dude's got a fish. Alright, look up. Does it increase max health or does it just um, refill my health? I don't know. So he doesn't count as a party. I must not have bought the upgrade then. I thought I did, and I guess I didn't. Ow. That hurt. Now my healer's gonna heal him. Give bacon, please. I can't as bacon. Yeah, that raccoon apparently has a pretty big range on him. I didn't know if it would uh, have like a limited range, but he looks pretty good. Now I have to get it in my head to not worry about the um, not worry about picking up the gold. Now I just constantly like think about oh, pick up the gold, pick up the gold. I got a little thing to do it for me. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah. 
Alright, so yeah, I know this is like a mobile game, but you know, some mobile games are just fun. Alright. So I guess maybe if like the ghost of the pig is there, you can go eat? I don't know. I'm not seeing the bacon when I pick it up is the problem, so I don't know when it's available and when it's not. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna spoil something for you already. I suffer from too good to use syndrome, and so I forget about that stuff all the time. Let's use it now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and apologize and just say don't let it bother you because it's gonna it's just gonna happen. It seems really nice though, because it seems to be a, like a global stun. And it kills all projectiles, which seems really good. Ow. Oh, my healer's dead. Oh, I'm dead. Dude, Football Man is, uh... <laughs> He's not playing around. I'm just gonna try again. I'm gonna try to save up some money. For a couple for a couple of rounds. Alright. I'm liking this game though. I um I've always kinda I every time I look through my Steam list I'm like, I should play Barbarian, but Eh. Glad you guys recommended it. I'm having a fun time. Let's move that mouse cursor off the out. I had a fun time with it. I'm not missing any health. Um, okay, so next question. Since you guys seem to be pretty knowledgeable about this game. When I pick up the bacon, does it just heal the main character? Or does it also heal the minions? Anybody know that? Everyone, okay. Cool. Okay, there it is. I see it. It's on the it's on the counter. Alright. I don't need it right now, so I'm not gonna pick it up. Oh, it's my dude to shred right now and generate some notes. Oh, there's dudes up here. Stun so I can kinda catch up. Level uh out. Oh dude, it does not stun everybody because this dude down here is still motoring. So apparently it's- oh! I see what you're saying. It stuns everyone on the screen. Everyone that I can physically see on the screen. Alright. I get you. I'm gonna go up here and pick up this bacon to heal my healer. Cause I like having a, a higher level character versus having to have her die all the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. Seems fun and the soundtrack, while kind of limited and a little bit repetitive, is kind of good. I don't know if it'll like change when I get to later levels. It's got like a pretty good beat to it. It reminds me a lot of the the soundtrack from Orcs Must Die 2, which is one of my uh, one of the games that I I really like that I don't play a lot. I should play it more. It's tough though. That game can be pretty tough sometimes. Oh, ow. Ow. Oh, stop getting hurt because you're going to kill your healer. No bacon. Oh, she's dead. Dang it. 
I gotta get a level one. Yeah, two was really hard. I think it was really meant to be played co-op. With two people that are good at the game. Let me just go ahead and throw that qualifier on there. Because I played co-op with someone who had never played the game before. And we were struggling. But I think if you kind of... Um, first of all, if you use the right traps, the game becomes really easy. And if you coordinate really well, the game is... But you share a lot of resources, I think, and you share a max trap cap. So, um, you really have to... Um, coordinate with your co-op partner. And there are, um... Some traps that are just far better than others. I played a lot of one single player, though. I did, like, the, um... Uh... Endless mode, which is really fun, but really tough. I want to kill this jabroni before he kills me. Which is what happened last time. Alright, so there's some bacon. I'm going to pick it up so she stops healing us. I got really far on some of the endless mode ones though, because there are some um, there are some kill boxes that you can make on some of those levels that are just insane. Guy. Oh, I got hit. That sucks. That's, see, that's the thing that sucks is if you get hit, your um, your stun recharge starts over. Okay. I wish there was a way to show like the effective range of your units because a lot of times I think I'm standing close enough for my fighters to fire and I'm not. I didn't realize my hero, uh, my healer is dead too. Um, but the levels are. So according to OBS, I'm dropping some frames. I don't know if it's like really noticeable or not, but let's go ahead and apologize. If it's looking choppy, I don't know if it's like my internet or just the game, maybe. Can't imagine this game would cause a lot of slowdown, though. Come on, healer, heal me! Sacrifice your life! Now it's just to the point where, like, I lost my good healer and I'm just burning through him now, like, nobody's. Oh! Okay. Wish I would have known that was there. Grab that. Kill that dude. Down here. Stun attack. Ow. Okay, it's not bad. Like, I know it's never gonna be perfect, it's just... Um... You know, it's... 
a product of like internet and oh no my good fighter died I just never know like how much is like too much to like make it look bad oh something's attacking my stuff I can never see uh, I can't get my like stun thing back because I can't Kill enough stuff without getting hit. Now my units are just dying non-stop. It's getting real, guys. I know though that this is one of those games that's probably meant to like be progress gated, so that eventually, like, I'll just get to a point where I can't progress until I I get more upgrades. And I think I'm getting close to that point where I think my gameplay is less of a factor and just more of progress gate. Ah. I'm just gonna go triple fighters and try to kill as much as I can right now before I die and then hopefully get some gold. stun attack. Let's stun these bad boys. See, now I'm like, I'm out of uh, notes right now. It's gonna be hard to use my buffs and stuff with no notes. Yeah, there goes my core. Alright. I feel like I did pretty good. Got a lot of gold. Um, not enough to get the gold axe. So I was kind of like thinking about grinding for the gold axe right now. But I think I might. Um, but can I use these or how do I unlock these? Ah, let me unlock you. Alright, I can't. This one looks really cool though, the Shell Razor. Um, hint, reach 200 or 2000 M in endless mode. So at least that one told me. Hint, last seen hanging out at wave 10. So I didn't make it to wave 10. Appears randomly in survival mode. So I'm not doing survival mode. That's why those aren't appearing. Alright. I see that now already. I wasn't. I was just. I wasn't reading. Reading is not my strong point. Let's go to the hero. I'm gonna do this. I know I said I was gonna save for the gold max, but I feel like if I get some other upgrades, uh, some minor ones, it'll let me survive a little longer. So that I can, um, <laughs> shut up, Artie. Every time, how do I, I always end up going back to the main menu? I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on, I want to close it. There's a stupid pop up in my thing. I'm saying the big chest at the end of 10 will be worth it. So maybe I'll spend money to upgrade so I can make it to the level of 10. These Song of Attack the most, which is probably part of my problem that I don't ever use the other ones, but... Oh my... Stop it! Every time... <laughs> Every time I hit the stupid wrong button... Play.
Yeah, I just feel like I'm not getting very far if I... Alright, let's start at 6 and see how far I get. I just feel like I'm not getting that far when I, um, once I get past the, um... Once I get past the first boss, I feel like I don't get that far, so we'll try starting from here and see how much money I earn, and if it's not worth it, um, I'll go back to starting at level 1, unfortunately, and just kind of rolling through it. That's the thing with these games that are like, I consider this to be a tower defense game. Um, I don't think that anybody would disagree too much with me. Um, with tower defense games, when you have to grind and you have to start at level 1, it's really crappy. There's one game that I feel like, um, that I've played at least, that helped that, um, was Defense Grid, and it's because you could, uh, speed up time. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think and move at the same time, it's not working. Um, you could speed up time, so you can make the early levels go a lot faster, and kind of like the early waves and stuff, so that you can wait till you get to the meat of the game. Let me try this strat a little more, like circle strafing, Let's see if that helps me deliver more attacks while getting hit less. Need to go this guy. Oh, it's just a weakling. A 90 pound weakling. Let's get my stuff. Go, raccoon! This is good though that you can um, distract them from attacking the uh, core. It's off the screen. shooting. Oh, so my healer's dead. I should bring her back. That's the thing with these rabbit guys, I can't, like, these things you can tell when they're about to shoot because they, like, real, you know, real back and fire. The rabbit guys just start shooting out of, out of their mouth. Yeah, Geno, I, um, I didn't realize she was dead. And now I'm getting absolutely wrecked. And I'm gonna waste all my notes. I'll wait for both these guys to get on screen. That's my stun attack. Get him. Get him. He's almost dead. Yeah. My healer's probably about to die again. Oh, I tried to use my stun and I don't have it. Let's get some of these guys deaded. Right now I have it. That was probably a waste. Stay awake. It's my core. Oh, it's gonna hit the core. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, how much did I get there? 684. So yeah, I probably should... Start from the beginning. Even though it takes a little more time, I got a lot more gold from that. I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing? Apparently I keep hitting the B button to go back and I don't have to do that. 
I just need to keep going down to play and I keep hitting the wrong button. So that's what's going on. That's all on me. Can I play these? Oh, I can. I can play survival and distance. So. Oh, I wouldn't do that while well. I'm not that well equipped yet. Stand here and let me kind of generate some notes for a bit. Alright. I saw whenever I can in the beginning of the game, I'll stand here and let my dude generate notes faster. So I can just build like a nice stockpile. So when I need them, I'll have them. I love this town drunk. I'm glad Jeno suggested it because, like, I don't notice too much, but maybe it is really effective, and I just don't see the effect, so I don't notice it. But it's just funny to watch him walk around and barf everywhere. Good so far. Already lost a lot of health yet. So I'm looking at the OBS um, stuff right now, and uh, because I've noticed that um, my graphics card fan has kicked on, and I'm noticing that when I'm not talking, um, my microphone is not picking up on OBS. So it looks like the um, the sound gate I set up is doing its job. And I think I got it kind of tuned in so that it's doing its job but not cutting me off because I think at the beginning of the stream me and Artie were fine tuning it uh, because it was cutting me off a lot. I don't like that these guys have infinite range. Like, I'm used to... I shouldn't say I'm used to the Binding Eye of Isaac, because that implies that I play that game a lot. I watch a lot of that game. I've watched way more than I probably want to admit. Um, I usually watch Northern Lion play it on um, either his stream or his YouTube channel. It's because it's kind of like something I kind of just kind of like zone out and watch. Cause it's a little different every time, and sometimes he'll talk about funny stuff. Anyway, there's your uh, hashtag Northern Lion self promotion. Not self promotion, because I'm not Northern Lion. Or am I? I don't know. You'll never know. Um, but Binding of Isaac, the bullets have like a finite range, and they'll eventually hit the ground. So if you just kind of like backtrack for a bit, you can dodge the bullets. Uh, they can't reach you, but this game, that does not appear to be the case. Everything seems to have infinite range. Which was kind of the problem I ran into in that last level. Um, that enemy shot at me, and I dodged it, and then the bullet went and hit... Um, it went and hit my core and killed it. So that's kind of a... Oh, man. Kind of a bum. I guess my healer finally gets to... something. I'm gonna go grab this. Oh, do they? Alright. Well, as of right now, it appears like, um, everything has infinite range. Maybe that'll change later. Yeah, I've watched a lot of his stuff. Like, I watched, I started watching him when The Binding of Isaac came out. Because I didn't know what the game was or like anything about it, and so I just like googled "Let's Play Bonnie and Isaac," and uh, he came up, and I started watching his stuff, and I've watched it pretty much ever since. I watched almost, I would say, almost every one of his um, 1,000 episodes of the original Binding of Isaac, and I've watched about 200 episodes of his Rebirth series. 
And then I've also watched, like I said, he usually plays it on stream. Get out of here. Stun everybody up. He usually plays it for the opening segment of a stream and he co-ops it with his wife. So I've I've seen a lot of it. So I feel like I know a lot about that game by proxy. I've never <laughs> spent that much time with it, but I know a lot of the mechanics of that game just from watching people play it so much. I also used to watch the Binding of Isaac League races, that boiler, until Crumps was a douchebag, aka always. And uh, I stopped watching it. I don't know if you mentioned somebody there already about looking for a Grimrock run, because all I see is just like... Are you talking about Northern Lion or somebody else? Because I don't remember him. I know he did a Let's Look At of the game, but I don't remember him doing an actual run. Like a, an extended series. Thanks. I know some of the guys that he uh, kind of runs with. Um, I think Mathis, Mathis Games did a, um, a pretty lengthy playthrough of Grimrock 2, which is actually who I was watching. Okay, yeah, Mathis, that's, that's who I was. I don't know if uh, Twitch ate one of your messages or something. I've actually been having problems with better Twitch TV. I keep getting all these messages that say that it can't read the chat, and um, it's like eating messages. Oh, she's dead. Yeah, Matt has games. <laughs> Classic joke. Doing pretty well, I feel like, right now. Or is that full health still? I haven't lost any of my fighters, I don't think, which is the important part. Oh, ouch, I say that and then I get hit. Um, my healer's been able to keep up. Unfortunately, she died. So, now I'm back to like level 1 healing. Or level 2, because she just leveled up. 